Did you go to the park on the night of April 19th? 30 years after she questioned and then prosecuted the young men known as the Central Park Five, Elizabeth Lederer is stepping down from a teaching position at Columbia Law School, saying it was best given the nature of the recent publicity generated by the Netflix portrayal of the Central Park case. They are guilty. Ava DuVernay's miniseries has drawn critical acclaim, reaching many younger viewers who weren't alive in 1989. A series like this paints the picture of what it is like to be a person of color in America. It's the latest example of a dramatic account of real events, prompting a reckoning years later. Another key figure, prosecutor Linda Fairstein, resigned from several boards and was dropped by her book publisher. But Fairstein says the series attempts to portray me as an overzealous prosecutor and a bigot, and the five suspects as innocent of all charges against them. None of this is true. In a special last night, Oprah asked DuVernay about Fairstein's response. It's not about her. Yep. Really, really not all about her. She is a part of a system that's not broken. It was built to be this way. Yep. Okay? Yep. It was built to oppress. It was built to control. I'm so happy and ecstatic that we could start the conversation now and to make sure there will no, never be another Central Park Five. An injustice three decades old, spurring new calls for change. Kate Snow, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.